Hi. Hello and good morning, you two crazy nuts. How are you guys doing since you're talking to the rest of the world from the Hamptons? <laughs> We're, We're doing great. great. How, How are you doing? Doing fantastic. I'll tell you what you guys are doing with Prime Video with, with Forever Summer Hamptons. You, this is what summertime is all about. And, and and like people always ask me, what was my favorite summer? Well, 1978. Nothing else is matched to it. And and watching this kind of does the same thing to me. It's like you guys are having the summer of your life. Yeah, that was my favorite summer, too. Um, <laughs> just kidding. But, yeah, honestly, and the show does such a great job of just showing our lives, whether there are cameras there or not. Like, that is exactly how we spend our days. We go to work, and then we go hang out, have fun, party, yeah. and just be young. Well, see, that's what I like about it, and everybody's going to pick up on it subliminally, is that you guys still have to go to work. Before there's play, you have to go to work. Because so many times people think, well, it's summertime. I'm not doing anything but playing. Yeah, for sure. We definitely all work a lot, and we always do. That's why you kind of get to see the inside scoop of the Hamptons, because we work for the summer people who come out. We are there all year round, so you get to see what it's really like, not just how the yeah. people see it's it. It's not just that kind of stigma of, like, oh, Hamptons, easy breezy, bliss and glam, all yeah, of that. Exactly. It's, no, we're actually putting in work, we're doing stuff, and, you know, we're not just putting on by like the city is. <laughs> Wh- wouldn't you say, though, that Forever Summer Hamptons is also going to be a, a, a fashion trendsetter? Because the fashion that you guys have got on the show really is setting up, it's, it's like, wow, there, there are some beautiful people on this show. Well, thank you. Um, I would hope so. I yeah. Mean, I feel like we do. I think all of us are pretty yeah. decent style. That, yeah, I would hope to. And I feel like, you know, whether it's not inspiring, but, you know, if there's a takeaway from the show, it's for kids to, you know, maybe dress up if they want. With my black tie party, I told oh, everyone just to dress up as extravagant as you want. You know, be a little extra if you want to. Have fun and enjoy your youth. And, and and one of the things that, that makes this show enjoyable to watch is the fact that you're not sitting around playing video games, that you're enjoying life. There's surfing, there's tennis, there's, you know, sitting out on the beach and just enjoying life and the, env- you know, the entire environment around you. Yeah, that's what's so special about the Hamptons is, like, there's always something to do, like an activity to do, whether it's surfing, whatever. You could do whatever, and you're not just sitting inside. I don't know. It's, it's awesome. Such a beautiful area. Yeah, there's endless opportunities. Now, now, Avery, you know, majoring in psychology, do you look at the group and just know what they're about to do? Because, you, you know, you're, you're like five steps ahead of everybody. Oh, yeah. I've got all the mind games going on. <laughs> um, no, but I think it is honestly interesting because you also see the different dynamic between people because you see this whole group of kids that are from different areas all meeting, whether it's for the first time or they've met a couple times before. Um, and spending the summer together. So it's interesting to see how everyone actually does click. And, you know, some people do and some people don't. Now, this is being shown on Prime Video. Uh, Emily, what, what, you, you're a TikTok fanatic. I mean, it's, I mean, what is it like for you to make this jump to Prime Video, which is a huge, huge platform to get your name and voice out there? I would say it's super exciting. I mean, my TikTok has been going pretty well. So I'm really excited for this exposure and just happy that I had to experience something so awesome like this it, you, you guys make tiktok seem like it's like the thing and yet you've got people like elon musk that's trying to shut the darn thing down it's like leave it alone man people are connecting with other people Hello. he's gotta leave it alone it's the best thing in the world i think <laughs> it's addicting it's addicting <laughs> Now, now, for the two of you, being a part of Forever Summer Hamptons on Prime Video, how is this changing your personal lives growing forward? That's a great question. And honestly, only time will tell. I'm still going to be me, and she's still going to oh, be Emily, sure. that I don't see it changing too much, no. except just, you know, hopefully opening up the doors for some more opportunities. Hmm. Now, summertime has always been that time of year that everybody holds on to their favorite songs. Um, on a personal level, when even when you're not on camera, are, what what's the music that everybody's listening to? Ooh, um, I feel like a lot of it comes from TikTok, honestly. Yeah, it's all the TikTok trending songs, I would yeah. say. What that is so funny because I'm blessed with the opportunity to speak with with modern day musicians as well as past musicians. And when we talk about TikTok, it, it's their dream to somehow get onto TikTok. And and it's like, wow, you guys are rock stars, and you you have you have all these different levels. But their their goal is to get onto TikTok. Yeah, yeah. I know it's crazy. Yeah, a lot of artists put one song out there, and then that's their whole career, like from TikTok. 
away from it all, what what do you guys? What are your aspirations? I know that, like we talked about it before, Avery, that you know that you 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 majoring in psychology. But but what what is the when you step away from that camera, you got to step back into those real people tennis shoes. So I mean, for me at least, I'm gonna finish out my next um, two years at Tulane University, graduate from there. And I mean, I would, I think after doing this show, I would love to go into some type of entertainment Mm -hmm. field and maybe do psychology of, you know, (laughs) somehow incorporate psychology into it. I don't quite know yet, but that's life and I'm not supposed to really know. But yeah, I'm still in online school, but I'm actually working on starting my own brand. I'm just focusing on entrepreneurship and Stuff like that. So I'm hoping this show will put some great exposure. Yeah. See, that's what that, that's what I've always loved about shows like Forever Summer Hamptons is that we get to see you in action. But then when when you grow beyond it, you guys are actually activators out there in in the real world beyond this show because you you know you invest in the community that stood there for you while the ratings were coming in. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I feel like it's so special to have people that are supporting us, and you know, yeah, it's cool to see it, especially in such a small area too out here where. You know, just even the littlest bit of support means so much mm-hmm. that I think locals got to have locals back then. For sure, yeah. Don't don't you think though? Forever summer, all right, forever summer Hamptons is a type of show that's also educating the viewer into saying, get out, enjoy life, build real friendships. Even if you are different from other people, you need to build a relationship again. Yeah, and I think that's one of the biggest takeaways that we want people to understand is that life happens. There's ups and downs, and that's okay. We go through it, and that's why we show it. You know, exactly. Otherwise, I don't think they would have shown. Emily and I got into a tip that I don't think we would have shown if we didn't want people to understand. Like that's yeah, normal, normal and that's okay. Yes. Yeah. Are are the Hamptons really the playground of the world? Um, I honestly, I would say the beaches are so beautiful yeah. and there's so much to do. There's so that much. If, to do. Yeah, you if can you, make it your own playground. Mm-hmm. If you come here and you've never been here, you'll just see everything is just so amazing. It's yeah, like. Five. Yeah, because I, I would I would love to see Prime Video do, let's say, you know, Forever Summer Myrtle Beach or Forever Summer South Beach and, and, and you know, something over on the West Coast and stuff like that. Because you, j- just if the fun you guys are having, it, it's not just in one certain area. It's it's all over the nation. Yeah, exactly. Wow. You never really know until something come out. All right. There's what a whole other side to it. What, what's the website where people can reach out to you guys? Because, you know, you, you have to be communication specialist these days in order to reach the people. Um, I would say social media is probably, yeah, our social medias are just our names, Emily Ander, Avery Solomon. And we're okay. actually going to come out with cameos. People can reach out to us through there. Really? Yeah. Or even through <laughs> so, um, the Prime video exact. <laughs> how, do you, how do you like that technology where, where people will actually do that, where you guys are wishing people happy birthdays or happy anniversaries or you get to spit? I mean, I, I love Cameo in the way that, that, that the acting world has really turned it into a tool. I think it's pretty awesome. I mean, I'm excited. I hope people request me to wish them a happy birthday. I'd be hyped, I'd be hyped to do it for them. <laughs> I think it's pretty, it's, along with this whole thing, it's pretty surreal that, like, someone would even, yeah, like, be like, oh my gosh, Emily, I, that would mean so much to me. That would be really, really cool. It's cool. <laughs> well, you guys are definitely up to date, and that's what's fun about this show is that you, you're, you're just in tune with where the world is. I'm so proud of you for doing this show. Oh, thank, thank you, you so much. Well, please come back to this show anytime in the future. The door is always going to be open for you. Thank, thank you so you. much. It's so great talking to you. Well, you guys be brilliant today, okay? Okay. <laughs> you got it.